As it turns out, it is time for another week of the UPBA. This week we're facing Vepsis, coach of the... Well, High Dragon something... How can I forget Vepsis' team name? Like... How? And yeah, I'm not even gonna cut this out because I'm just so baffled that I don't remember. It's something Hydreigans. I, I saw it like literal seconds ago and I've like read it a billion times already. But I don't know it. It's something with Hydreigans. Thing is, I feel too embarrassed to even look it up now. Well. But we're facing Vepsis. That's, that's the important part. Well. What is it? It's the... Okay, you, you see the team on screen, you see his mons on the left, I did the same thing as last week. Um, but I will figure this out. I don't want to look it up now. I, I, I know that I know. The what Hydreigans. The what Hydreigans. I mean, it's UPBA week 4, this time not on Monday Night Mons. This is supposed to be a team builder, but I'll get to that once I figure out the name because I know that I know it. I know that I know it. Or I know that I should know it and I don't want to look it up because I know that I know it. Helsinki had Regans, maybe? Maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll double check if that is correct. Yeah, I'll... I'll... It is Helsinki Hadrians. Why was I so confused? Well, anyways, le let's yeah, let's begin with the actual important stuff. That is, yeah, we have basically the same Charizard set as last week and basically the same Porygon set as last week. I know it's set times. I mean, the spreads are different, but yeah. Sard once again with Flamethrower, Roost, Toxic, Defog, Defensive. This time a little less speed, more speed depth. Basically same Sard as last week and basically same uh, Porygon 2 as last week because I still want to gravity into teleport into Lando. And yeah. Then we have Stealth Rocks on Lando instead of the gravity because I was like, yeah, I want the Stealth Rocker. I want Stealth Rocks to be up, but I don't want to bring Torkoal and well, I only have two Stealth Rockers. So, I mean, I could also play Ditto and just hope to copy Stealth Rocks, but yeah, I felt like I wanted actual Stealth Rocks. Also, there's a Zorak on the opposing team and Ditto against Zorak is very scary. Because, well, if it's just an illusion, then I can't copy it. Anyways, then we have Cholteon because, well, Cholteon is good against Corviknight, against Primarina, against Basic, and against Crobat, against Zorak, against basically everything that is not Nidoqueen or Reshiram or Abnul, I guess. So, yeah, we're not playing Volt Switch because, well, we don't want Nido Queen to be that free as of a switch-in. So we have Light Screen to punish that switch-in. We have Yawn to also punish that switch-in. Or Baton Pass to just get momentum on the Nido Queen coming in. So like we have literal free moves, which are all mostly meant for Nido Queen, but I mean have other utility as well. But yeah. Then we are quick feed because I don't feel like we need an electric immunity. One, we already have Lando, and two, well, there's not even an electric type, and I don't really think anything will run electric coverage. At least, yeah, I don't know why. Why it would. Anyways, then we have the classic AV Slowbro, because I'm very, 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 very scared of Reshiram. And we have, well, I, I knew I wanted Future Sight and Scald. I also have Teleport, because I feel like the, the Zorok is gonna knock off something at some point. And if I switch in the slow bro on a knock from Zorok, then I can teleport afterwards and I didn't feel like I needed the uh, slot. And then we have Zap Cannon just because one. Well, okay. It punishes the Corviknight kinda and Primarina kinda. I mean, it only has 50% accuracy, so I never expect to actually connect with it. But it is nice if it connects. And it is like my 50% out to uh, D-Dance Reshiram, to just raw D-Dance Reshiram. Because, well, if I pair it, I can revenge it. And if I don't, well, then I probably just fall to it. But that is fine. Is that fine? It's not fine, but it's fine. Yeah. Then we have Dan. This time not with Gorilla Tactics, not with the like consistently good set. This time we're playing Classic, Zen Mode, Belly Drum, uh, Sub with Selak Berry, 
The idea is, if I get Belladrum up and proc my Select Berry, then I would speed the whole entire team. I one-shot everything, especially because I expect Type Null to be speed F, and then I one-shot it with a Fire Punch in my Send Mode form and with Belladrum up. And then, well, I have Earthquake to one, not run into that many uh, uh, Rocky Helmets. For something like Primarina, I can just Earthquake instead of normal attacking it. And two, because well, Earthquake Fire Punch was all the coverage I needed to kill everything. And the idea is if they do not have any prior, then Dam may just win on a few mons. Like there are a few mons that I can definitely set up against. And if there is no prior, it could win. But I mean, there's Infiltrator Crowbot, which is annoying for setup. There is, I mean, they can play Aqua Jet Primarina, but I'm not sure if they would, but they definitely could. I mean, we also have a lander, so it's possible, but we will see. And yeah, I mean, there's also, okay, Nido Queen doesn't get Sucker, but I mean, does the Rock get Sucker Punch? Probably, I don't even know. Does it matter? Probably not. This, it's probably just gonna knock and uh, you turn spam against me anyways. Oh yeah. I should also probably mention which mons I was expecting. Like, I was definitely expecting Sorok, and I was expecting Reshiram, of course, and Nidoqueen. And the other ones, I was like, okay, Type Null is great. I only, well, I only kinda... I expect Type Null to be Spideff, and then only my Darm breaks it, and then that only after Belly Drum, so ha. Huh, yeah, but it's gonna be fine. And yeah. Well, if he rest talks against me again, then it's dangerous. But yeah, that's the funny thing. I I heard a lot about Vepsis playing a lot of uh, rest talk, but I mean, then I I even talked with him about it, and he is like, no, he doesn't really run that much uh, rest talk anymore. But I mean, that's more like post game. Yeah, spoilers, spoiler warning for for the leg. Yeah, go go to the start of the battle if you don't want to get spoiled because I'm gonna spoil it. Yeah, yeah, because I don't care. I'm just gonna say it because I feel like I have to say it. I played against him two times. Both times he brought Type Null with uh, Rest Sleep Talk and both times I didn't break it and I just lost to it. So yeah, I guess my bad for not being prepared for it because every time I'm like, nah, it's probably not gonna be Rest Talk because you don't want to risk Having a few turns where you do nothing because you just get a uh, sleep talk into rest, and then there's also uh, then there's always rest talk, and I'm always not prepared for it. But yeah, that is life, I guess. Anyways, have fun with the battle. Blah 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 blah. It is time to lose to Vepsis. Or Vepsis. So. I personally say more Vepsis, but he's. I feel like he says it more like a. It's Vepsis. Oh yeah, doesn't really matter. We're picking the same music as last time when we got real hard stomped. Because, well, I, I still like the music. And it's not the music's fault. Probably. But yeah, here we go. Week 4, UPBA time. There definitely is a team in front of my screen. And as always, I was really, really bad at predicting stuff. I kind of always am. Like, yeah. There are three mons I didn't expect. So what are the mons I did expect that didn't come? There's no Nido Queen. That is crazy. Like actual crazy. There's no Corviknight. That's also crazy. And there's no Sorok. I was so certain they were gonna come. But okay, okay, okay. What does that now mean for me? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do with the drunken sailor? What do you wanna do with the drunken sailor? Eva's not really gonna get away, girl. Yeah, sorry for the trouble. Uh. Yeah. What do we leave? Oh, well, I mean, there's no ground tap. Huh? So we could always just go uh, our Discount Eleki. Like we could just lead with Discount Eleki. We wanna do that. Ah yeah, why not? Why not? Let's let's lead Eleki. Or like Jolteon. And let's see how things are going. Why not? 
Why not? Oh yeah, let's see. How can I make this full screen again? I did it. Good job, me. I let Shultion, there's a type new, it's just gonna U-turn on me. Or oh, gonna toxic one of those two. Both annoying, yes, but well, it is what it is. I could yawn it, but I don't f feel like there is any reason to do it. I don't have Volt Switch, sadly, now that I think about it, so Shultion lead maybe wasn't even that perfect. It's okay, I guess. Is it okay? I can bet and pass, but I mean, they are just gonna... I, I know for fact that they will U-turn. I know for fact that they will either U-turn or Toxic, so I just go P2 and hope for the best, I guess. And I once again forgot to mark down things. That's fine. There's the U-turn. There's a bunch of damage, it's okay. Not brain dead, one of this month's came Primarina game, yeah. Okay. There's an egg run. It's gonna stir the all over me. It can body press, it can iron defense, it can just rock. There's a lot of stuff that it could do. I think I am gonna ice beam once just to break sturdy. And there's a head smash. Okay, that is not what I expected and that almost kills me. So this thing is probably not even sturdy. Okay. Oh, I get the freeze. Big freeze. Do I go for the freeze hex and chill? Well, freeze hex. Do I go for um, just... Brain. Do I just recover is what I wanted to say. Do I just recover because this thing is... Frozen. Like I risk this unfollowing. I risk the 20% to just lose P2 for no reason. I would hate that, but I think it's the play to recover up. Like if it's yeah, it stays frozen, that's that's nice. So I can recover up. This is I mean this is probably choice band, right? By the damage it did. Yeah. It's like definitely choice band. So do I have any switch ins? No. Okay. Yeah, I just hope for another freeze turn, I guess. Because I don't have head smash switch ins. Stay frozen, you can do it. <laughs> I mean I hate to just Abuse the freeze, but, but what should I do? Should I just not do anything about it? Like I could literally go down here and be like, yeah, I have 80% chance to just set up a sub and then a bullet run for free. And then maybe just win right there. Am I the person that does it? Yeah, I'm the person that does it. I don't care. I'm doing it. I mean, I am sub belly drum, so I will just sub belly drum on this. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. You have to withdraw, of course. I sub. What do you go into? Oh, this could be infiltrator. This is gonna be infiltrator. That was stupid. Well, was it that stupid? I will live one, right? What is it called, Robert? Yeah, that was stupid. I don't even have coverage for it. I'm, I'm, I'm brain dead. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just brain dead. I literally don't even have coverage for it. If I don't belly drum. And now he knows that I'm sub. I mean, he doesn't know for fact that I'm sub belly drum, but well, you could expect it. You brave bird, yeah. Like you have to. That does a lot. That does a lot. Probably still won't kill me for. Yeah. 
You click the U-turn button. Will deal a lot as well, but I survive. I have to switch out for, which is not good because Reshiram can just come in and be annoying. And yeah. Like the freeze on the aggro was very good. Me going down was well. If Vepsis just stayed in with Agron and got frozen another turn, then I would have just won, I guess. But I mean, it was clear that he was not going to do that. It would just be so dumb. Oh, I don't like this. Well, I can kind of like it. Like, this thing will just U-turn on me. Like, it has no reason to not U-turn on me. Like, literally no reason to not U-turn on me. Like, it can also grass move, which will also deal a decent amount to my uh, lander. So... Yeah, but... Okay, you stole frog. That is not the U-turn I was expecting, but... Yeah... It is annoying as well. That is the important part. And I don't even kill a Celebi with my U-turn. Oh, that's sad. It's okay, I guess. Do I just rock as well? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe. Probably. Probably red. Yeah. Let's just rock as well. I'm taking a lot of time once again. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. We'll know it. It's the wolf way of playing the game. Uh, I will deal zero damage to this. It takes future side, will deal nothing. Yeah, this thing is spidef. Or does it even have to be spidef to take that little? Probably not, because it's just uber bulky. Like, literally uber bulky. Uba bulky. You have an idea? Kinda yes, kinda no. Kinda yes, kinda no. Yes, I see wind, okay. I was just expecting you to U-turn again. I definitely did not expect an icy wind. I think this means I will just toxic something, right? Yeah, I think so. I will probably still outspeed you. Toxic on you is nice. You could be risk talk very easily. But I mean, it's still kind of nice to have you toxic, I guess. And you U turn. Okay. So I am minus one speed, so Reshiram could just come in and be like, yeah, I'm gonna click Draco and something on your team is going to die. And I would not appreciate that. Okay. I, 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 I read the name Sirius. Uh, Sirius. And I was certain it's gonna be Reshiram because there's a match, t uh, there's like a match brand that is serious, but turns out it is not. Turns out it is not. He don't have a switch in. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. I wanna go slow, bro, but I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat at all. And I forget the name is really Primarina. What's with me and forgetting all the Pokemon names? Like, I literally... Doesn't make any sense. For me to just forget all the Pokemon names. What did I even want to look up? I don't even remember what I wanted to look up. It's, uh, that's how bad things are. <laughs> I literally don't even remember what I wanted to look up. Yeah. Just thinking about the name from Marina and being confused. I think I wanted to see if Cholten can survive one hit from a Primarina. Misses a Toxic, which is really nice for me. That also should mean this is not Specs, so I should even take one hit. Like, I will take one hit from non-Specs. I can 
do the crazy sap cannon. Like I have the 50% accurate sap cannon, but if I connect with it, oh, you miss toxic do I connect sap cannon? <laughs> you miss toxic, but I connect with sap cannon. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. I love it. I really, really love it. We are um. It's amazing. Am I risking Cholten? No, yeah, but... <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was like, bring the Zap Cannon for the memes and to kinda touch Corviknight, I guess, and to not lose to D-Dan's Reshiram, or at least 50% chance to not lose, because I can... Yeah. This thing will have heal bell. If this thing has heal bell, I'm just done for. No, I'm not done for, but it's, it's better. Well, it has heal bell, it will have U-turn. We'll have all the moves. I will literally have all the moves. That is bad. I'll click Yawn. Doesn't really matter, especially because this is natural cure. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So that means you are Scarf Celebi. That is good information, actually. Pen! We have Scarf Celebi in the house. Yes. Just gonna go slowbro again. I want some health. If you toxic me, that's fine. If you U turn, I take a lot of damage, but I guess that's fine. Reshram still hasn't come out. I wonder what set it is. If it is Scarf, it is a huge problem. If it is not Scarf, it is also a huge problem. This thing is rest, okay. What did I already see? I saw rest, I saw U-turn, did I see anything else? I saw icy wind. And if it's then rest talk as the last thing. Like it doesn't even have to be. Could just be heal bell salabi even if it's scarf. And if it's rest talk as the last one, then well. What do I do then? I'm not sure yet gonna be rest talk right yeah okay then at least i know all the moves that is something you get the rest i will future side up again i know you can't touch p2 but also you could get the uh you could get the u-turn and then i'm in a kind of tricky situation also you wake up next thing or next time which is problematic. So please don't get U-turn, thanks. Uh, there's so much RNG going on. I see wind, okay. Like you wake up next turn, is that bad? Yes. Is it manageable? Maybe. Big, maybe. I think I just recover. I need some health uh, again on this one. Okay, like you wanna stay in to tank the future side, I guess, but you could also U turn out, but at least the future side something, but you could go Agron. Like Agron has basically no value, but you don't wanna be like set up fodder for something. So, I don't know. Yeah, you definitely could go Agron if you want to. You could also go Celebi because, well, Celebi doesn't care about future side either. A Leicester, the Invoker. No, wait. Yeah, I recover. I will just teleport out and then see how things are going. You tank the future side. Does a decent chunk actually, but yeah. And I hope and pray, right? Yeah. I hope you don't get head smash. I will survive one. But it still would not be optimal. I teleport out, you are frozen again. Like I get all the freeze turns, that's great for me. Redemption for when I get frozen against him last time. Could go for you again, but yeah, I don't wanna do that. I will just go Orlando. 
And I am debating if I want to earth power or if I want to psychic. But I think I will just earth power because I can see you just sacking the aggron because well it is frozen. But you don't. You don't sack the aggron. Okay. I earth power you, I should deal a decent amount. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it's not nothing. It's very much not nothing. Yeah, it's not nothing. So that is kinda good enough, right? Yeah. I think not nothing is good enough. I have U-turn, but I don't wanna kick it. <laughs> this is the, the, the funny thing. Because, well, I will deal, like, no damage to this anyways, and I don't wanna take the recoil. And they are not gonna switch, they're gonna U-turn anyways. But I mean, if I predict them that they go U-turn and I just attack, then they have to rest or I win one of those. So, okay. Okay, this is the game we are playing. It's fine. I'll just teleport out here. Question is into what? Do I go down? Kinda yes, kinda no. Well, I can't go down because, well, of the stealth rocks, I can't belly drum then. Can't go down because of the stealth rocks. I could go sad and get rid of the stealth rocks, but I get rid of the opposing stealth rocks as well. So I don't know if I'm the greatest fan, but I think I'll do it. So that the next time this thing sleeps, I can go into down and try to win with belly drum. Even for the Celebi Scarf, it does not outspeed plus one uh, Damgala send mode. You just sleep talk, yeah. Which still means I can't set up against an icy wind from this thing. <laughs> Which kinda is a problem, I guess. Could roost against you. I'm gonna roost against you. So if you go Primarina, what do I do? Like you will U-turn. You will definitely U-turn. You will go Primarina, I think. Oh yeah, this should be spit death. Should be spit death uh, type no. Which would mean after belly drum uh, I should be able to oko it. You go crowbat, which is not what I expected at all. You could toxic me, you could super fang me, you could U-turn again. Do I care? Don't I just flamethrower you? I think I just flamethrower you. Like you deal 60% to me, but that's fine. You turn into something, that's fine. Nay, you would always, like, not always, you would almost be dead with the crowbat. Go into this thing again. Yeah. Okay. I will just toxic. I have an idea. Like, I, sh I need to get Dharm in on this thing while it sleeps. And then if they don't get Icy Wind, I just win the game with Belly Drum, I think. Like, that is currently the plan. Yeah, that is currently the plan. Because if I can this thing get this thing to rest again, then I teleport out with P2, and then I go down. Then I have... Well, one for uh, like two thirds chance to outright win the game, right? I think so. Go for this thing again. Do I roost this time? I think so. I think I roost this time. I wonder what you want to do to me. I don't see it. I, I really don't see what this crowbat does to me. Like, I don't see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just being stupid here, but I don't see it. I'm just gonna stay in with Charizard, I don't care. I'm gonna roost up. Okay. 
I don't care. Like I think I flame for once and then I go P2. Cause then they will rest next turn. If they stay in. There's nothing. Okay, the rest this time already. That's bad. This is bad. Because I don't have enough sleep turns of them to actually do something now. Should have just hard swapped. Yeah, I should have hard swapped P2 this turn, but I didn't think they would sleep talk already. Uh, like rest already. But I mean, I guess they have no reason to not rest as well. Like they don't lose anything from resting. Please don't get U-turn, but I mean, if you get U-turn, it's still kind of alright, I guess. I will once again click Future Side. Like, that is my whole win con. Get P2 into this thing when it clicks rest, then teleport into down, and then hope it doesn't get Icy Wind, and then I think I should just win. I think so. But, yeah, yeah, I think so. Which means I can't afford to lose P2. Because I need to teleport out of this. Otherwise I just risk getting Icy Winded twice. It's gonna U-turn, yeah. Into what for? Into what? What do you do? Me -li 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 -li. Yeah, that's that's the official name of this one. Uh, I could just ice beam the Celebi. Would be decent damage, I guess, but it wouldn't be that much damage. It wouldn't be that much damage. I'm clicking teleport. If you stealth rock. Okay, you do stealth rock. I know that you are locked into stealth rock now. So I can, if I want to, just go sad and remove them again. Like, that would be okay. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Yeah. There's the future side, which will do like nothing. Yeah. Just click defog here. If you don't hard swap, then well... I will just... Well, I'm, I'm slower than you anyways, because you're Scarf, so that's fine. That is totally fine. You withdraw, I defog. You finally go into the rush ream. Which is obviously a problem. Click the defog button. I will click the toxic button now. I think, right, yeah. And yeah. I connect with my toxic, that is great. It is not lum, it is toxic as well. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. So, okay. Now I think I go slow bro again. Then I go P2. And then we will. I think I go slow bro, I future side, then try to get into P2. I still want the uh, Type Null to rest at some point whilst I'm in Oregon. That will deal like no damage, that is fine. Yeah. You can toxic me, but I am fine with that. I think I care enough about that. I will just future side here. You toxic me. Finally hit your toxic on the slow bro. Good job. And I just future side. And then I think I switch out into P2, right? So you don't wanna stay in here. You're just getting chipped down by toxic. 
a lot. And you are not life up. And you only have dragon pulls. Yeah, I think I should be fine to go into P2. If I get toxic, that's annoying, but I think I can still win with that. Also, I'm super low on timer, but that is what it is. You can turn some Toromon, yes. I go into P2. You will just click U turn again, like a billion times already. That's fine. I will just recover. And yeah. I. Wait, I think I already saw that outspeed, right? I think so. Did I already see that outspeed? I don't remember. I see when, okay. No, I won't outspeed anymore. That's okay. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You take the future side, will deal like no damage. I will ice beam you to at least uh, deal some damage. You are sped death, so it will be like nothing, but that's okay. I just want you to rest and to be in P2. Problem is P2 only does like 10% to you. But I mean, if you U turn into Celebi now, it will deal like a decent amount with Ice Beam, I suppose. You Icy Wind me. I will just click Ice Beam again. I don't care. Yeah, I will just Ice Beam again. I just want to chip this down a bit. You don't have the greatest Ice Beam switching. Like, Analytic Ice Beam is not weak. You rest. Okay. It is showtime. It is showtime. We click teleport and we hope we get a good sleep turn round. We hope we get two good sleep turn rounds, actually. Because if this thing uh, U turns out this turn, then I still get nothing. So please don't U turn this turn and don't Icy Wind next turn. And then I'm golden. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of asking for a lot, but I get one of those two things. I get one of those two things. Which is something. Let's go into Suffering and Belly Drum. Here comes Suffering. I click Belly Drum and I pray. I just pray. Outright praying is what we do here. Because I think this is... Well, if they have uh, Aqua Jet on the Primarina, then I always lose. But otherwise, this could 6-0 here. I should be in berry range, if I didn't screw up, yeah. And I should kill everything. I should kill everything. At least I think so. And I should also outspeed everything. You sack the aggro, that's... Yeah, as expected. If you have... If you have Aqua Jet, then I am in trouble. But I think I'm not gonna play around Aqua Jet, right? I don't think I can afford to play around Aqua Jet. You are paralyzed. If you have Aqua Jet, I take the 25% chance. You have Aqua Jet, I die. Well, well, well. That's bad. That is bad, but at least some progress, I guess. Could go you, I could still resting. Okay. Do I have an idea? Kinda. This is bad, yeah. I was just hoping that it doesn't have Aqua Jet. Uh, I knew that I always died to it, but I don't think that I could afford to, like, actually play around it. So, you will just sleep talk. 
I will go slow, bro, again. Yeah. Yeah. I will click future side again for the billionth time. I will... Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna win this, probably. Like, I see, like, one chance of winning this. And that is a scenario that is very unlikely. Like, the only way I have of breaking the type null is by getting really, really lucky with sleep turns whilst I'm into some f uh, in something that actually is able to deal damage to it. So, yeah. I think probably consistency-wise, uh, like Scarf or Band, the harm would have been better in the matchup in general. But I wanted to run Belly Drum. Because I was like, if he runs no priority, I just win or dread. In most scenarios. And he had the Aqua Jet on the Marina, but that's fine. You can still frog again. But okay, yeah, that is okay. This time I think I will go hard sword. I am poisoned, which is not optimal, but it is okay. Good also. You know what? I'm gonna go uh, Lando instead. I'm gonna go Lando instead. If I actually want to win this game, I don't think I, it is enough to just remove stuff rocks. Like, definitely not. Definitely not enough. Definitely not enough. Go into this thing again. This time I will U-turn. You are just gonna click Icy Wind this turn, I think. And then next turn you can just rest up. <laughs> yeah, next turn you can just rest up. Yeah, you Icy Wind, now you will click rest. You will always click rest. Like you have to. There's no way you are not clicking rest here. Yeah. So now I go Lando again, but I don't break this thing, I know. But I go Lando, I stealth rock, I pray I don't get icy winded. And if I get that, then I U turn out again. And yeah, I think this thing just wins by staying in, actually. Like, I have nothing that free it chaos this. Like, literally nothing. Because I'm not playing a... Uh, well, because one, I already lost arm. And two, I'm not even playing a arm that would free it chaos this without belly drum. So I still frog here, hope I don't get icy winded, and... If I had knockoff, I could break this thing. But I decided to go uh, psychic over knockoff. Bad decision in hindsight, but it's okay. I will have to U turn out again. You are free to do whatever you want. I can go slow, bro, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going slow, bro. I will. I'm gonna click future set again. Does it do anything for me if I click future set? Not really. Not really, no. But I think I gotta do it anyways. Click future side. Like, I don't have a scenario where I break this. Well, the only scenario I have where I break this is if at each sleep talk turn, they get U-turn, and so they have to switch out and take stealth rocks again. Like, that is my to break this thing is for them to get a lot of u-turns via sleep talk and for them to always take stealth rock chip and for me to yeah get to attack uh, something different than the than the type turbo blaze i click future side 
good times, I guess. You take poison damage, I take poison damage, my poison is more stacked than yours. I can afford to stay in one turn. Unless it has Draco, then I probably die, but I think it's just gonna roost anyways. Yeah, it's roosting. As expected. Does it gain me anything? No, it does not. Could have hard swapped into Lando to put some pressure on, I guess. Which would have been nice, I suppose. Because this turn they can just either switch out again or roost. Like if they roost again then that is fine, but I should have just went land on the last turn. But they switch out. Do they go Crobat? Probably not. Yeah, they don't go Crobat. Just go for this, which can just Icy Wind me. Yeah, this is just generally bad times for me. Generally bad times. Just gonna Icy Wind me, there's no reason to risk anything. Uh, yeah, you have literally no reason to risk anything. You have no reason to ever click anything other than Icy Wind this turn. And then rest next turn. Yeah, you just click rest next turn. I go slow, bro. I click Fusion Sight again. Do I click Fusion Sight again? I'm not sure. You actually rest this turn already? I mean, I, you know that I will just U turn out, so. I can see it, definitely. It's still kinda risky, I guess. I will Future Sight again. Like, yeah, the only. I can break this thing if it gets U-turn each time uh, and I'm in with Lando. If it gets on the rest U-turn each turn and I'm in with Lando, then I can break it. Otherwise I cannot. So I will uh, lose to timer against the uh, type 0, which is a 5-0. But that's okay. That's okay. I had the problem is I had nothing with bosses in the Primarina, so I couldn't have easily removed it. And I also had Yeah. I, I just had to hope on the 25% pair on the Primarina. Or that they don't have Aqua Jet, one of those two things. Cause especially after I had already shown the Especially after I've already shown that I am uh, not choiced uh, a Manhattan. They always knew they had to keep uh, the Primarine in the back. I will Toxic here. They could just rest again. If they don't rest this turn, then they will rest next turn, I think. Am I willing to predict it? I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm willing to predict it, but they rest this turn already. They always rest one turn earlier than I expect. Gotta give it to Vepsis, always resting one turn earlier than I expected. I mean, there's no risk attached to resting. Well, there's kinda risk attached because if I go Lando and you get U turn each time when you sleep talk, you can still lose this, I think. Like, that's the only scenario you can still lose this. So I personally would feel like, yeah, you wanna. Be as healthy as possible, but you don't want to rest too early just because you don't want uh, there to be RNG if you can knock me out or not. I will earth power you now. Deal some damage. I hope you rest talk into U turn. Like, I just need you to rest talk into U turn, otherwise, I can't win anyways. I see when I'm dead. It's GG. That is GG. That's fine. Yeah, I can't get another KO either, because this was the only one that even had a chance of uh, killing. Yeah. This is a 5-0 for Vepsis. No, guaranteed, because the Lando is dead. Uh, I kinda just wanna surrender. Yeah, oh, I already surrend or surrendered week one. Yeah. One could say, oh, I fall to the timer again, but doesn't matter. I can't kill this. 
Like, even... Like, I can't even PP stall it. But yeah, you have... Uh, but yeah, you have... What do I want to say? Uh, you have regenerator and everything. Yeah, I... Like, I guess I kinda in theory could PP stall it by just switching between P2 and Slowbro. Like, that kinda in theory works. But, like, if I want to attack at some point, then I can't PP stall it just because uh, I can... Just because I cannot... What do you wanna say? Just because uh, Sleep uh, only has... Well, they don't use PP for two turns if they use rest. And they don't have to attack, obviously. They don't have to click a sleep talk. The thing is, the other win con I could have gone for, I guess, would just... Uh, would be to... Like, that also would not be something that is very likely. But I could have... Oh, don't misclick. I could have gone into... No, I... I could... Okay, let's calm down for a moment. I could have clicked the 50% the, the accurate move on Slowbro and hope that I just get like three full paras in a row against the type node. Then Lando can break it as well. Uh, will I just roost? I don't know. Um, what's the move called again? I already forgot. Zap cannon, yeah. Yeah, we get five out, but that's fine. I'm totally not mad. Like, I mean, also, why would I be mad? But yeah. Do you want to lose all my mons to timer? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him a chance to knock out the Charizard by not roosting this turn. Give you a chance to knock out the Charizard. Bam. Flame flow. Bam. Rest. I mean, yeah. That's a 5 0 win for Vepsis. Well deserved. Well deserved. Gotta admit, I really, really, really did not exp. Yeah, now I don't wanna give you the sword. Now, after you just rest on me instead of just attacking me. <laughs> now I wanna roost. <laughs> uh, at least we're still having a good time. Yeah. Like, I got very lucky on the Ice Beam Freeze against the Aggron. And I was like, okay, if I go down, then I, I may just instantly win because if this st if Vepsis stays in once against the down, if is like, yeah, I'm gonna sack the Agron to the down, then I just win because I sub up, and then a belly drum, and then yeah, you could hard switch into Crobat, but doesn't matter. Okay, I don't. Yeah, and you Crobat can't outspeed me anyways anymore, and yeah. And I would survive one Aqua Jet because I was behind sub. But they did the only reasonable play and did not stay in with Agron. Like they, yeah. <laughs> I just wanna roost spam. It's a good time. I don't wanna, I don't wanna roost another time. Yeah, I'm just gonna toxic here. You get the chance to knock me out. Do you go for the knockout? I mean, why would you not? You have no reason to not just click Icy Wind. Come on, give yourself the knockout. Well, it's not a knockout for you, it's a knockout for the Rashi Rain. Actually, then I probably shouldn't have done it because... Oh, well, I will survive on poison. But Icy Wind did like nothing. Yeah. And now I lose the timer, but it's fine. It is fine. That is fine. Oh yeah, I, I kinda stopped saying things. Anyways, we lose 5 out to Vepsis. It's okay. It's okay. I think like a more standard down with either Scarf or Band would have been way, way better. But it's fine, it's fine. I wanted to go for like the double belly drum because uh, here I have belly drum down and then the video tomorrow in the pack I, I al also brought belly drum down but like here it's Dangala and tomorrow it's uh, Fire Down. And yeah, it's good times. Two times Belly Drum. Both times it didn't do anything. But yeah, spoilers, oh, spoilers, sorry.